Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a problem that involves Vieta's formulas. If you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe, and hit the bell button for notifications. And let's get started. Now in this problem, we're given a cubic equation with roots m, n, and k. So we're given the solutions. And we're supposed to evaluate or calculate m plus n quantity cubed plus m plus k quantity cubed plus n plus k quantity cubed. So as you know, and I've done a video before on Vieta's formulas, I'm going to include the link down below so that you can look at it, uh, what they are. But basically, Vieta's formulas give us the sum of the roots, the product of the roots, and so on and so forth. So it gives us a lot of good information. And the nice thing about Vieta's formulas is that we don't have to find the roots to find those relationships. They're already in the equation. Okay, so in this cubic equation, uh, we're supposed to calculate this one. And obviously, there's a formula for m plus n quantity cubed. You can expand it, so on and so forth. But I'm going to do it a little differently. And I'm going to present two solution methods here. So let's get started. Now, the first thing I, I want you to notice is that this equation is missing the x squared term. Therefore, if you write your cubic as a x cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d is equal to 0, we have b equals 0. Awesome. Now, what is that supposed to mean? Well, you know that in a cubic equation, x1 plus x2 plus x3 is equal to negative b over a, which is always true for all any type of polynomial equation, right? Cubic, quartic, quintic, doesn't matter. So if b equals 0, that means the sum of the roots is also 0. So from here, we get the important conclusion, m plus n plus k is equal to 0. So that's, that's going to be our first relationship. Great. Great. So uh, what is my second one? Well, second one is going to be the two-way products, mn plus mk plus nk. Now, how do you find that? That's c over a. And in this case, c is the coefficient of x, but it's not c over a. It is actually c over a. I mean, what am I talking about? It's positive c over a. So it kind of goes like negative, positive, negative, positive. They're, they're going to alternate. So this is c over a. <clears throat> and since a is 1, this is just going to be 2021. Cool. OK, nice. What else do I know? Well, uh, the product, which is going to be negative d over a, in this case, is going to be negative 1. Cool. You can, again, look at that video for reference for Vieta's formulas. Now, uh, what am I going to do with this? Well, I'm supposed to evaluate this expression, and I'm going to, use the, uh, I'm going to be using these. So like I said earlier, I'm going to present two methods. Here's the first solution method. First of all, notice that these expressions, m plus n, m plus k, and n plus k, without the cubes, give us something interesting. If you add them, what do you get? Without the cubes, of course. If you add them without the cubes, you get 2 times m plus n plus k, right? Well, we know that m plus n plus k is equal to 0, so this is also 0 because 2 times 0 equals 0, right? What is that supposed to mean? Well, it is significant because we have a special expression for that. If a plus b plus c is equal to 0, then a cubed plus b cubed... Okay, what am I talking about? Okay, let me write it down. Let me write it down. Here's the formula. In other words, we can subtract this weird polynomial. And to make matters worse, this polynomial is divisible by a plus b plus c. Would you believe that? Well, if you don't, you can kind of verify it. But yes, it is. So this polynomial is divisible by a plus b plus c. And the other factor, and again, we've done this in another video, so you can also look at that too. Maybe I'll try to include that uh, link as well. And the other factor is going to be a squared plus b squared plus c squared minus ab minus ac minus bc. Now, why is this significant? It is significant because if you call this a, if you call this b, and if you call this c, we have that a plus b plus c is equal to 0. This is a plus b plus c, right? Well, if a plus b plus c is 0, that means this is 0. Therefore, this is also going to be 0, which means you have a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed being equal to 3abc. Nice. So what am I trying to find? Well, I'm trying to find a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed. That's what I'm trying to find. Well, by the way, this, this a and that a are different things. So don't worry about that. Okay. Let's erase this one. So that's a different name. So, well, what is ABC? Well, ABC is not the MNK, of course. It is the product of all these quantities without the cubes. So I'm trying to solve for this. And so in other words, 
m plus n cubed plus m plus k cubed plus n plus k cubed is equal to 3 times m plus n times m plus k times n plus k. Now, you might be asking, like, what is so significant about this? We were trying to find this, but now you complicated things. Do we know how to find this? Well, you can go ahead and distribute, and obviously this is better than the other one because that's a sum of cubes. This is kind of like a product, a lot easier to handle. But, again, we're going to make it nicer. This is not nice enough, and I'm going to make it nicer. How? We're going to use the relationship again, and it up keeps popping up, right? So it's a super important relationship that m plus n plus k is equal to zero. This is super duper important. Why? Because if you look at this, if I know that m plus n plus k is equal to zero, that allows me to write each one of these in terms of the third one. For example, m plus n can be written as negative k m plus k can be written as negative n, n plus k can be written as negative m. So what is that supposed to mean? What I'm trying to find then is equal to negative, because I'm multiplying three negatives, that makes a negative, negative 3 m n k. Well, do I know m and k? Yes, I do. Remember, at the beginning we calculated it, so we do have that relationship, and I told you that we were going to use it. Now we're using it. m and k is equal to negative 1 from Vieta's formulas. If this is negative 1, Negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. So, what I was looking for, the expression, this gigantic expression here, the sum of 3 cubes is equal to 3. That concludes the first solution method. Okay? So, the answer is 3. Now, I'm going to present the second method. And then you can decide, please let me know in the comment section, which method you think uh, is better or which method you like better. Of course, um, everybody has their own preferences, uh, and I will also share mine. Okay, second method involves a little different strategy. Well, I can't say completely different, but let's start with what we're trying to find, this one. Okay, so I'm trying to simplify this or find the answer. Again, we're going to go back to this idea here. M we're using it at the beginning, in other words, right? It's kind of easier. I don't know m plus n is equal to negative k, this is equal to negative n, so let's go ahead and write that, negative k cubed plus negative n cubed plus negative m cubed. Great. Now, if you cube a negative number, you get a negative answer, so they're all going to be like negative k cubed, negative n cubed, negative m cubed. And obviously, we can put a negative sign on the outside and write them in kind of alphabetical order-ish, right, something like this, and you're going to get that. So, what I'm trying to find is actually equivalent to this. This is nicer because um, it's not like a two-way um, addition cubed. It's just a singles cubed, sort of. So this one is a little easier to find. But in order to be able to find that, I'm going to use a little algebra, which is kind of fun. I mean, the second method is going to take longer, but uh, it's a, there's a different flavor to it. Okay, cool. Let's take a look. Now, what am I going to do? In order to be able to get the sum of the two cubes, obviously, and I think that should be kind of obvious, I'm going to go ahead, because we don't have a formula. Okay, so we have a formula for a cubed plus b cubed, but we don't have necessarily have a formula. Well, we kind of do, but whatever. Let's just do it. Okay, this is what I was trying to do. Let's cube this expression, okay? What do you get when you cube it? Well, I can treat this as a single identity or single entity, whatever, or single expression. And then uh, do it that way, kind of like a plus k cubed or z plus k cubed. That make sense? Okay. It's going to look like this. m plus n is going to be my first term cubed plus 3. Again, using the binomial theorem, I'm just going to, you know, write the formula, mix it up. Okay, like this. And then finally, k cubed. Cool. Of course, this requires a little bit of expansion here. And if you do expand it, uh, you're going to get something nice. Well, it's not going to be super nice, but... I can't guarantee that, right? 3m squared n plus 3m n squared. I'm probably going to need a little more space, I feel like. Let me start over here, all the way here. So kind of like, uh, let's see, n cu m cubed plus 3m squared n plus 3m n squared plus n cubed. And then notice that when you expand this, it's going to look like m squared plus 2mn plus n squared. 
and you're going to multiply it by 3k. So consider that. So it's going to look like 3km squared plus 6mnk. Kind of looks like square kilometers, right? Okay. And then multiply 3k by that, you're going to get 3kn squared. When you distribute that, you're going to get 3k squared uh, m, 3k squared m plus 3k squared n. And then finally, you're going to be getting k cubed. Okay. That's kind of like a mouthful, right? But we're going to arrange the, these terms, and trust me, it's going to simplify. It's going to be real nice. I'll take m cubed plus n cubed plus k cubed because that's what I'm trying to find. Remember, our expression depends on this, but just the negative of it. So once I find the answer from here, m cubed plus n cubed plus k cubed, I'm just going to negate it. That's going to be the answer. Cool. So that's the first part. The second part, I got to be smart and put these together in a meaningful way. How? Well, I, I got to take these two together, but uh, factor out 3mn and write it like this because you'll see in a little bit. Okay. And then uh, the next thing you're going to look at should be something like these two because, again, they're kind of uh, friends, good friends, whatever. 3km times m plus k. You get the idea, hopefully, from symmetry. And then these two guys are going to go next, and then that's going to be 3kn uh, multiplied by k plus n. You get the pattern, hopefully. But we still have a leftover, and that is the, the glorious uh, term, which is 6mnk. It's kind of like by itself, right? So this is basically a formula, kind of, for m plus n plus k cubed. All right. But I'm trying to find the sum of the cubes. Well, how does this help me? Again, we're going to go back to the same idea. Since m plus n plus k is equal to 0, m plus n can be written just like here, negative k, and so on and so forth, right? So I can replace, I can replace m plus n with negative k. I can replace this with negative n. I can replace this with negative m. Beautiful. Awesome. And you're going to see in a little bit why this is so awesome, because it's awesome. Okay, cool. This is going to give me negative 3mnk minus 3mnk minus 3mnk, you see how awesome that is? Plus 3, I mean plus 6mnk. Now, notice that these two guys will cancel this out. We're going to end up with this guy over here. Wow, that's interesting. But what was this whole thing equal to? right? Well, I was trying to expand this, right? Oh, this is where it comes from. Nice, but m plus n plus k is equal to zero, so this is equal to zero. Wow, that's interesting. And I was trying to find something like this, right? So, in other words, in other words, this guy is equal to zero because it's equal to m plus n plus k quantity cubed. Well, what is that supposed to mean? If you isolate this sum, then it's going to equal 3mnk, and we know that mnk is equal to, we found it before, right, didn't we? It's equal to negative 1. Awesome. So this is equal to negative 1. What is that supposed to mean? Well, if this is negative 1, then this is equal to negative 3. But if you remember, if you remember, m plus n cubed plus m plus k cubed plus n plus k cubed was what I was trying to find. And it was equal to, we proved that it was equal to the opposite of this expression. Now, if this expression, the sum of cubes, is equal to negative 3, if you negate it one more time, you're going to get 3. So the 3 is going to be the answer, and this concludes the second solution method, which brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and... Bye-bye.